now next on is the data types which are integer so there's nothing float in this all values are integers and there are four different types of data types in this depending upon the size of the data that you use the smallest is the byte 8 bits then you got short which is 16 bits then you have int 32 bits and then you got long 64 bits and the important point here is that the variables in Java they are platform independent so irrespective of what platform or chip you are using the size of the variable is fixed so this is where it differs from C where it depends upon the chipset and the platform in Java they are designed to be consistent across the platform so byte will be 8 bits irrespective of where you use it short is 16 int is 32 and long is 64 so there is consistency in the size of the variable irrespective of the platform you use them on so four data types depending upon the size let's see what exactly is byte now byte is 8 bits and if we go through what range is for a byte you can see the range is minus 2 to power 7 to plus 2 to power 7 minus 1 so let's see how just uh, elaborate this a bit more since this is a signed variable so the range is from minus side to plus side so this is one point every variable is signed so we got the value from minus to plus how do you declare a byte variable you say byte give it some name say var and you assign some value which ranges between minus 128 to plus 127 and now let's see why this is 7 when there are 8 bits in the uh, byte data type but in the range you see it is 2 to power 7 now this is because the extreme left bit which is 0 the extreme left bit which is 0 is not contributing to the value so there are only 7 bits that contribute to the value so when a variable is signed the range is minus 2 to the power the number of bytes minus 1 because 1 byte is not contributing to the value now if we say this is unsigned which is not in Java but still just for knowledge sake if we say this variable is unsigned what could be the range just think of it make a guess and when I tell you the answer just compare whether you are on the right track now if you have a unsigned variable this means you have nothing on the negative side first point second all bits contribute to value so the range now would be 0 to 2 to power 8 minus 1 so that would come out to be 0 to 255 five. now in our case this is plus minus 128 to plus 127 and if you need to see how this 127 comes this is the value which is the highest value for a byte on the plus side all ones and the sign is 0 if you add all 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 and you'll see the sum comes out to be 127 so byte is the first int the integer type the range is minus 2 to power 7 to plus 2 to power 7 minus 1 and we've seen why 7 because 1 bit goes to sign and why this is from minus to plus is because these variables are signed and then we'll see we've seen how you could declare a byte variable and assign it some value and this value we call as a literal the value that we've assigned to where this we call as a literal value and this will see what exactly uh, what literal is and how it affects the value of a variable 